Okay, so this is where we left off before. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to open up that layers palette and just take the eyeball off of that sketch since we basically kind of have what we were looking for. Um, you can use either one of those um, techniques, but I do want you to drag the one that you don't like as much off to the side and leave the one that you like better here. Um, into the So I want to know that you did it with the pen tool and the shape builder tool, so you use both techniques. Um, so just make sure your file contains both sets that we made. Um, so one thing I noticed about this particular shape, if I zoom in, you can kind of... This is not as smooth as I would like it to be. This isn't as smooth as I would like it to be. So if I click on this shape and just so that I have it selected, we can actually go into... Let's see, where's that at? Underneath the shaper tool, there's a smooth tool. And we can actually just kind of... Oops, I don't have it selected. we got to have it selected for this to work. Um, so we can just kind of drag this over to make it more... There's something else here. I don't know. Let's see. It looks like there's just kind of a weird thing going on here that maybe I might need to delete these two things. Um, and there was just an extra little thing thrown in there. So see how smooth that has gotten since I used that smooth tool? All you do is click and drag it over the area that you want to smooth out. So I'm going to click there, grab the... There's another kind of rough spot right here that I don't really like, so I'm just going to... And it really simplifies down the shape really nicely. Um, the less anchor points you have, like the cleaner your shapes are going to be, more than likely. Um, there's kind of an extra point here, but it doesn't look bad, so I'll just leave it. So I kind of have a rough spot here that I don't like, and I have a rough spot here that I don't really like. So if I click on this, we can actually use that to... Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I'll push Command-Z to smooth that out, smooth this out. It kind of just magically does it for you. It's really nice. Um, and there we go. That's looking really pretty smooth. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient in here. Um, so I'm actually just going to change the fill color here. And we're going to go to the gradient tool. Um, so the properties panel also has, but I think if we double click this, um, it'll open up the gradient panel. But the properties panel also has the gradient area here as well. I think it's basically the same panel. Um, so you don't really need that open. But So there's linear, uh, right, radial, freeform. But what we want to do here, so Maybe there's some preset stuff here. Um, don't do that though. Let's go to color. Let's see, window, color. Sometimes this happens when you're in Illustrator. And just make sure that this is in CMYK. Okay, it is. I think it was. I just. Um, and then we can go back to the gradient panel, which is right here. Um, and let's just click on, double click on this color and then double click on it here. Oh, sorry. To change it, just double click on that to change it. Um, and then maybe I'm gonna go with kind of like a, like a kind of a pink. You can use whatever colors you want. Double click on this color to change it and something like that maybe. Maybe something a little bit more green. Okay. Oops. So, and then I think I want the same one here. And then what we're going to do, I think I want to, so we'll do a Command-C, Command-V. And we'll actually kind of create, like, the same shape, but we're going to bring it out a little bit. And then we're going to um, reverse the gradient by pushing this on the new shape that we've made. And then let's just do an object arrange sent backward. Or object arrange maybe just sent to back, which will take it all the way to the back. Okay, so I kind of left off like somewhere around here. I was kind of dinking around for a minute there. But so if we click and drag and get both of these things selected again, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of zoom in because there's actually a place up here that I don't really want. There's some, there's this shape is like 
popping through, the lower shape is popping through, and I don't like that. So let's make sure we have both of our shapes selected by clicking and dragging over both of them. We're going to get back on that Shape Builder tool. And then we're going to push um, Option, which is the minus, so we can subtract shapes. And so if, if I'm holding down Option and I click on this, I can actually get rid of that really quickly. I'm zooming out now, Command minus, and just kind of looking around for if there's anything else I want to... So we might want to delete this too. Or wait, no. Uh, option. Delete. Okay, so that is looking good. So we want that we want our, our shapes to look like that. And we're gonna do like a similar treatment to this down here. Command C, Command V, and then we will reverse the um Gradient, kind of offset it a little bit, object arrange, send to back, or send, yeah, to back. And then, I don't know, I might actually tweak this just a smidge, maybe a little bit more like that. And then we'll get both of these again and do a similar process. So we're just going to hold down Option, delete that, and delete this. Just to clean it up a little bit, that's looking pretty good. Um, I've actually got an extra point here that I'm not really liking, so I'm going to actually smooth that out further. It just looks a little... I don't, know, I don't really like the way that it's... Eh, I don't know if that helped at all, but anyway. And there's kind of a little bit here maybe that I might want to... I don't know if that's going to help or not, but... All right, that's looking pretty good. So if we mine it, if we zoom out a little bit, command minus, that's looking pretty close to the way we might want it to look. This is the lower shape. We can actually kind of drag over, you know, more or less if we want to change that. It actually is working out really well. Um, just kind of being right in the middle, though. Um, but yeah, that's looking pretty close to the way we want it to look. I might actually grab both of these and then like wait till I get to the twisty so I can get those arrows and twist it a little bit so it's a little bit more stacked. Um, and then we can, you know, so this would be the mark of our logo and we could actually add text to it too, like um, fireside stoves or something. And then we can work on adding text to it. I mean, you don't have to necessarily do that, but I'm just saying this would be the logo mark that we would create, and then we would probably add in some sort of text, you know, somewhere with this. And this actually looks like an F, which is great. Um, you know, so all I'm going to have you do for this tutorial is literally, you know, this, and I want to make sure you did it with the pen and the shapes and the shape builder tool but i'm just saying like typically if you did make this mark you would actually probably add um some text to it that would go underneath of it to kind of finish it out because logos aren't usually just marks they usually have the company name you know underneath them somehow but for the purposes of this demo. This is what I want you to be turning into me. So you just do a file save and uh, don't show again. I want to save it on my computer. Um, and my documents, let's see, what class is this? <laughs> 350, graph design 2, so new folder, um, logo, follow along. Eh. I'm going to copy and paste that because I'm going to make the label this something similar but with out any spaces because it's a file name. Leave the .ai on. Make sure this is on AI. Don't check use artboards or you should actually it doesn't give you that anyway. Uh, push OK and there we go. So I want you to just give me the AI file so it's saved out in Brightspace um, for this assignment. All right. Thanks. Bye.